What's going on Wolfpack? Time again for another WolfOfBricks.com update. I am Jim and of course this is where we talk about Lego investing and reselling. So before we get into the main topic just want to share with you this screen right here. You're looking at YouTube.com and there are a lot of side hustle videos out there right? And back whenever I started thinking about videos to produce on YouTube and eventually those morphed into Legos, I said to myself, I am never going to do one of these videos because they just seem so hokey, so disingenuous, so unrealistic, right? And I'm not trying to say anything bad about these guys. They're, I'm sure they're doing good uh, with whatever they're doing. <laughs> but over the course of time, I have come up with a few side hustles that I think are worth talking about. Now I'm mentioning this because if you're a Lego reseller and investor, you eventually say to yourself, man, where can I grab more money from? Because the part that I budgeted from this account to go to Lego is starting to run dry. And then you're like, okay, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could do that. So I do feel like I have some legitimate solid tips for people that are wanting to, you know, go the extra mile to finance their Lego business outside of what they're already doing. So I just wanted to put that out there. If you see a thumbnail in the very near future where it says, hey, the side hustle, whatever, and you see a pic of me, have an open mind because I really tried my best to make sure it's not something like donating plasma, walking your navel's goldfish, things of that sort. So, so please keep an open mind. And at the end, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments section. All right, you are looking at Jay's Brick Blog right here. And I really haven't given Jay's Brick Blog that much love. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, right now in the past, I should probably talk about Jay's Brick Blog more than Brick Fanatics. But Jay's Brick Blog has compiled a lengthy list of sets that are coming out uh, next year. And this is one of the resources I use when it comes to coming up with videos and trying to source information. So there's a lot of city going on, friends. There's a lot of city sets. There's a, there's a new redesign. I recently told the uh, VIP, the Patreon group, which is closed for the rest of the month, I'll open it up again in January, that I'm no longer doing public friends YouTube videos. They, they're only going to be uh, strictly for the Patreon because there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of good opportunities, and to be honest, I just want to keep that information exclusive to Patreon members. You do have this Minecraft set. This Minecraft set here looks amazing. And again, I don't plan on buying Minecraft anytime soon. This The Panda set looks really good right here. Not exactly sure if it's going to do as well as the Sword Outpost. There's a couple, there's one, there's at least one other set I, I believe that should do pretty well. Maybe a 200% ROI. But again, you gotta wait a little bit on those. The creators, I mean, the creators are cool. The Birdhouse is cool. Uh, maybe I'll look at that. Monkey Kid has another large mech coming out, which looks awesome. Going to skip past Marvel because DC is far more superior and we really don't need another Hulkbuster, right? And then, of course, the, the Lunar New Year sets I'm in love with. That's no secret. So there is a lot of good information here. I, I'm not, I'm plugging Jay's Brick Blog, not because he asked me to, but just because it's good information. And I think I should give credit where credit is due. All right, today we're gonna talk about city sets and one in particular. Now city, you really don't hear a lot about city, right? You always hear about something else that 500 other resellers already have, but you don't hear a lot about city. Investing in, in City is kind of like going on a blind date, right? You really don't know what is going to really happen until after the evening concludes. And so there are a lot of cool City sets, but a lot of them just aren't meant for resale, right? But we are going to talk about one set, the predecessor to this set right here, the Fire Commander. We will be talking about set number 60231. 
the fire chief response truck right here. This one is a little bit damaged, which is why it, it wasn't sold. I got maybe one or two more that are damaged. I think I bought a total of 75. I'll, of course, I'm gonna have the Excel spreadsheet at the end. So you're going to wanna go ahead and stick around for that. Now, when it comes to city sets, I've said this in the past, but I've never really, you know, hit hard the point or drove it home. If you're looking to invest in city, you kind of want to go a little bit out of the ordinary, right? You're going to kind of want to look for sets that aren't common and it's really challenging, right? So I'll give you an example. This set right here, it's the 60221 diving yacht. This is a set I told everybody that they should have picked up about a year, maybe 14 months ago. You could go on amazon.com and do your own due diligence and see what that set's going for. I freaking love that set. This set, and I actually don't know how, how well this one's performing. So it might be a stinker, but I don't think so. This is the Ocean Exploration Submarine set, set number 60264. So those, in my views, are kind of uncommon city sets. Now, the one city set that I have mentioned in the past that just got away from me was the Museum Break-In. That was back in, I think, 2012. I tried to get so many of those sets, and I couldn't get any. And it was just off to the races with that. So we're going to take a look at this set right here that I've purchased almost two years ago, right? Now, if you're like me, whenever you purchase Legos, sometimes if it's not on Amazon and it may be Kohl's, in this case it was Kohl's, you're saying to yourself, man, I want the free shipping. I'm only a few dollars away. What can I purchase, right? So I first started purchasing this city set just to fill up my shopping cart and get over the free shipping threshold, right? And as I started to collect it and collect it, I was like, you know what? This is a pretty good set. I think I'm gonna hit it home. On another YouTube channel, I have done a video that was strictly dedicated to fire engine sets. I love Lego fire engine sets. This isn't a fire engine, but it is a fire chief response truck, which I thought when it comes to collectability would do well. And whenever I received it, I didn't realize that the fire chief was a woman. And I said to myself, guess what? That might be something worth noting and that might benefit you if you go ahead and you go in deep on this set. And that's what I did. So when you go to Camel 3X, you can see as soon as this set dried up, it was off to the races. I mean, when this set was sold out and this was this was before COVID, folks. This was already at $44, which was great. And you can see right here, there's some inventory finds. There may have been a pallet that was found here or there, something like that. But once all the inventory dried up, it was consistently around $50. And that's the average price that I sold it for. So a lot of good news when it came to the Fire Chief response truck. Now the current model right here, I'm not sure how well that's going to do. It's a fire unit command. It's not a fire truck. It's not a fire chief mobile unit. It's it's something in between. I don't see any authority figure. I, I just see two firemen. And so I'm not sure if this will do as strong as the set I'm talking about when it comes to ROI. It's also a bit of a higher price point too. So the reason why this set did really well was because I purchased it at Kohl's. This is whenever the set was around 50% off when you add the Kohl's cash, right? And when you go to the Excel, you could see right here that this is what I did. The set retired in 2020. My whole time was about 23 months. That's about average if you've been watching these types of videos uh, over the last month or so. The ROI for the sales was 150%, which is great. That's what we're trying to look for, right? And my purchase price was around $17.99. I purchased 76 units and my total sale price was this right here. So I put these numbers out in the past and usually there's someone in the comments that says, hey, it would really help us out if you put what you were really, you know, taking home. Well, here's the deal. And I, I say this as respectfully as possible. I'm already doing 95% of the work, right? And not to mention, I already, I, it's, it wasn't on the Excel spreadsheet, but I, I shared what the approximate take home was. So I, I've done 95% of the work. If you're still on the fence on whether you should get into Lego, 
and you're not willing to spend 20 more minutes doing a little bit of extra math, I don't know what to tell you. I did 95% of the work. To be honest, you only have to do one more percentage of the work, and the other 4% is you looking in the mirror and gaining the confidence to go ahead and do this. So I'm not trying to be brutal, but I, I am trying to give you tough love. If the numbers are off or you know the, the math problem for you isn't solved, you need to do some due diligence because if you're not doing due diligence now, you're probably not going to be doing your own due diligence whenever you're buying thousands and thousands of Lego sets. So just for fun, I have my approximate take home. Again, I've said what it is in the past in all the videos that people are asking me to, but I actually have it here on the Excel spreadsheet. And here's another thing that I really haven't mentioned. So there are Amazon fees that are taking out, right? But I also take out 15% for our warehouse fees too. Well, Jim, you have your own fulfillment center and you're still charging yourself 15%? Yes, because I'm running a business and that's the way it is. So you could take that number right there. You could add another 15% to it. And then that's what you will probably be taking home. It's still a little bit conservative because I'm not trying to act like if you buy some Legos, money just starts to rain uh, every Q4. It, it doesn't work like that. But I just wanted to give a, an example about how, not easy, but how it's really not that difficult to flip and sell Lego if you know what you're doing. That's it, my friends. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Jim with WolfofBricks.com. Always. Go out there and get it.